Previously on The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. All right, time to die. Boo! What the f what? Thought we would finally be able to stop Bob. Oh my God, did I just kill him? I mean, I'll stop Bob as a shot, it's too bad. Oh. And now back to and now back to and now back to Hello! Go B back with some more Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. We last left off. Oh my goodness, we went through such a heart rending little side quest, but it was so like I don't know, it was so heartfelt that and bittersweet, I guess, is the is the right thing. It's it's it was hard to watch at the same time and also I don't know, it, it, it filled you up with so many feelings. It was... It was pretty amazing, honestly. I, I It was, uh... So then I'm like... I don't know, it's, it, it's so surprising to see some... So much just really adult and... Like, I mean, they even talk about how, like... You're not sure you understand these adult matters or whatever. And I, I imagine that's a lot of ways with the kids playing this probably felt. They're just kind of like, okay! You know, I didn't understand, like, the gravity of all this stuff happening. And only as adults can we come to understand and appreciate uh, the subtle nuances of the story and the different characters. Like, ooh, ooh. Apparently, you guys said that's actually a really well-known, renowned side quest in, in video games. Uh, pretty much for that reason. So I can definitely see why. Wait, I didn't know the... The cat's head bobbles. Oh, wait. Oh, does it actually shake when the moon starts shaking? Makes a sound effect? Oh my god, it does! Wow, that's a that's a subtle detail. Like seriously, like what look at that. <laughs> that you only will notice when the moon starts shaking the area. Wow. Why get a bobblehead? Wait, what it's supposed to be like a a piggy bank or something? Except it's a cow? I still don't even know what it is. Like every one of these places has it. They worship the cow god? Why is this head named a bobble? I don't understand! <laughs> Anyway, uh, last episode, uh, Lord of Cleveland said, Hey, forgot to mention this in the last episode, but the giant turtle says an important piece of dialogue that people glance over. He says, I too must abide by the laws of ancient times and merely watch. I shall part after listening to Lulu's voice a bit longer. I think the gods can permit that. So by his words, deities are not supposed to directly interact with the world by some old laws. The Happy Mask Salesman is the only one not affected when Link turns back time, and he knows that Terminal will end in three days. Also, he knows your mask, even the cafe mask, which the mayor's wife recently made, and the salesman couldn't have possibly known by human means. By the turtle's dialogue, we can infer the ma mask salesman is a god who's not allowed to change the world's fate, so he uses Link to do it for him. Don't think it's confirmed by director Awanuma, but the salesman is definitely an interesting character. Thank you for your let's plays, they make my day. Hey, thank you so much, and I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed the videos, but that's really, that's a really interesting bit of insight. Interesting, I hadn't really thought about the, the mass salesman being some kind of god, although it would explain, I was, I was wondering, I'm like, how does he know about all these different masks, especially since some of them seem to be one of a kind, or like, as you pointed out, how could he know what the cafe mask was if the mother had just recently made it? Does that mean he was also a a, de a deity in Ocarina of Time? Is that a different version of him? Some of you were also saying that you think that this place being a bit of an alternate universe of Hyrule, um, that the, uh, the young boy, uh, Gafe is like an alternate version of Link because he both is a child or uh, that grows up to be an adult and then can go back to a child again. So, that's, that, well, that's really fascinating. If that's true, if those subtle nuances of the story, or if that was just a, a coincidence, either way, it's it's quite fascinating. But anyway, Lord of Cleveland, your really fascinating comment is the reason why you are comment of the day. You guys have left a lot of really uh, great comments this, this Let's Play. It's been, they've been really fun for me to read through. Anyway, what you guys sort of pointed out, and I, I kind of realized that when I went back to, to edit, that this key that I got from the front desk is, oh, I can use this to unlock uh, the door over here. I, I forgot that there was a door, like, at first, I, I, that's what I thought it was, that I could, I thought maybe I could use it to unlock the, the wedding dress door, forgetting about this one, then it said, oh, you can use it to get into the, the inn, and I was like, oh, well, what's the point of that, because I can already get in through the roof, but no, it's to get in this room, which I've never been in before.
And it's got 100 rupees! Oh, come on, that cannot possibly be the only thing in here. Right? Right, oh, hey! Hey! What a brave shackle in! Is this room first class? Can you remember next door for, for crying out loud? Well, whatever, we're staying for free, so we can't expect much. <laughs> Th thank you for the thank you for the commentary there, Tattle. Yay! I'm gonna jump on the bed. Yay! <laughs> I'm such a little rascal. What are you five? Jesus! No, I'm like I'm like thirteen or something or, I, or fourteen. I, I don't know. I don't know what age I am. All I know is I'm adorable and I'm a kid at heart. Okay? I don't understand all these adult matters. All right, Tattle. So get out my ass. You were an adult for like. Half of last game, all right? Don't lie to me, boy! I also have an idea. I, I, something came to me when I was thinking about what to do with the Keaton mask. Um, I remembered that Sheikah Stone that said to me that there is a story of a fox that lives in the grass, right? And I had a feeling, oh, those, uh, those bits of grass that I slash and suddenly they start shaking and fly away. Maybe I have to do something around them. So wear the mask around that. I think I've come across two areas, uh... Where the grass has done that. At least that I can remember. Anyway, I figure I'm going to need to um, redo that quest again to get the uh, cafe's bracelet or his necklace or whatever to give to the mom to, to complete hers. And I, that'll actually be the last thing in my, uh, in my notebook, so. I can't believe there's nothing else in here. Okay, it's this grass right here, so. Do I have to, is that be nighttime or, or something? Or... On the right track? No? Oh, oh God! Oh my God, it's the nine-tailed fox. We're all gonna die. Oh wait, no, it's a three-tailed one. We're fine. Oh my God, this actually worked. Yes! It's a fellow Pikachu with a two too many tails. He he ho, hello, child. If you are attempting to fool me, it is it possible we kittens can recognize our own mother's sheen of our tails? We still came out to say hello. Be all good, child. Let me put you to a test. Answer me this. Pick one of the three choices. What is the name of the vintage milk sold at the milk bar? R Romani Run, Chateau Romani, Chateau, Chateau Morani! <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I'm playing Yaksa Kawami 2 again. You're pretty cool. You're pretty stupid. You're pretty. <laughs> Alright, uh, Chateau Romani. Ding! Let's me this. Pick one of the three choices. How many cows are there in Romani Run? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, that's a dick move, Mr. Fox. I'm gonna just go with the middle option. Three. Oh, what a guess! Yes! That's right. Always go for always go for the middle option when you don't know. Answer me this. Pick one of the three choices. What is the name given to you by Romani, the girl at the ranch? <laughs> Butterfly, cricket, grasshopper. Answer me this. Oh, for God's sakes, how many how many we got? Where does Crimea, manager of Romani Ranch, try to deliver her milk? Uh, Curiosity Shop, the Milk Bar, Stockpot Inn. You sure have a lot of interest in, uh, Romani Ranch, don't you? I think it's the Milk Bar, right? Yeah. That's me this, okay. What's the name of the mayor of Clocktown? <laughs> Babor! Kagor! Dotor! Yee ho! Yee ho! Good, very good. Take this prize. Hey, alright, cool. Thank you, Mr. Fox. Let's meet again, child. Hee hee ho! Hmm. You know, I can only think of two off the top of my head. I know where another one is. Uh, oh, forget it. Get out of my way, dude, all right? We have this conversation every stupid freaking time. That's right. Look at the moon. Look at your inevitable death. But it, it kind of makes me wonder. Maybe, maybe there's one of those in almost every area. And then he, like, quizzes you on the nearby areas. Although, interestingly enough, there's... The, one, the, the place where I remember it being is on the way to Romani Ranch. Over on Milk Road here. Right here. Ah, run, bitch. Yep. Yo, hello, child. You didn't fool me. Is it possible? Uh. You're a good child. So let's pick one of three choices. What is the name of the clock towns in? Stockpile in. Stop on in. Stockpot in. Okay. What is the name of the festival that is to be held in Clock Town? Carnival of the Moon. Carnival of Time. Carnival of Mass. Carnival of Time. What is the name of the song that Romani, the girl at the ranch, teaches you? A bonus song, song of healing, song of the field. Bonus song. What is Anju, the innkeeper, bad at doing? Cleaning, writing letters, cooking. Oh crap! How the hell am I supposed to know? 
What the hell do you expect me to do, Mr. Fox? Get to know these people? Are you crazy? Cooking. Oh my god! I was like, just took a stab in the dark! Just because she was cooking, right? She might have mentioned it to me before, but I, I, I definitely don't remember. Once it's complete, how tall will the festival tower at the carnival be? Uh, oh, come on. Oh, 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 the one they were building there. Um, probably like four stories. Yes! Oh. Really, Mr. Fox? Really? It's me, Star It was me the whole time. Ah, 20 rupees. There you go, bitch. Speed again, child. Uh, well, shit, okay. Fine! Be that way! Didn't want another heart piece anyway! Ah, oh, that's a bummer! So I guess I can only get one from from him in total? And maybe it doesn't matter what location? Ah, oh, damn! I got a lot of heart pieces that I'm still missing, so... I mean, I know that some of them are like... I know where some of them are, like the mini games I gotta do every day and, and stuff like that, but... Uh... I was thinking, oh, maybe, that, maybe this is part of what fills it out. Guess not. Don't have too many masks left to get either. Just uh, these two on the bottom. Oh, by the way, I heard you guys mention this. I don't know if this is actually real or just or just an amazing coincidence. But somebody pointed out how like this line of uh, masks here is supposed to be a reference to Star Fox because we got the Fox Max mask, the Bird mask, which re represents uh, Falco, the Bunny mask, which re represents uh, wh whatever the Bunny's name was. I don't remember his name was. And then the Frog mask is supposed to be Slippy. Oh wow! If that if that's true, that's that's a hell of a reference and a, an obscure one to figure out. I mean, that is one of the Nintendo's properties, so it's definitely possible. Okay, I guess I will go back in time now, and I will uh, uh, go ahead and try to do the fam quest. But this time, I'm gonna give his necklace to his mother. It's gonna take a while, though. That was a pretty long quest. It was spread across the entire three days. On the bright side, I don't think I'll... I think it means I probably won't have to at least get the, uh... Or, the sun mask again. I don't have to go through that. You guys did point out also, apparently there are, like, multiple endings to this based on exactly what you do. Like, even beyond just, uh... The basic stuff to get these rewards. Like, there's some fucked up endings, I think. I mean, like, like I can imagine, like, you don't give Anju the necklace, right? So she leaves, and then, uh... Cafe will come back to nobody, I'm betting, right? I mean, right? That's gotta be it. I don't wanna see that shit. My heart can handle that. She was already heartbreaking enough. Let me just, yeah, let me go ahead and just shatter my pieces. That's like playing through uh, heavy rain and like like choosing to go see all the fucked up endings in that game. No, I don't wanna see it. I don't wanna see the fucked up, ridiculous endings they have. Where you fail to save Sean or wherever the fuck and everybody dies. Hey, look, I'm a postman. I like how I wear, I'm wearing this hat on top of the hat I'm already wearing. This isn't even a mask anymore. Oh, good, a single rupee. Is that really the only thing this postman's hat is for? Is just just to check these mailboxes for one one for one heart piece, and then the rest are just single rupees. And that seems like I was hoping I'd get more like fluff text or something. Like I actually get to go in there and see the letter that Anju sent or Cafe sent Anju, and then back and forth again. You know. Like, so, I mean, I know it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense, because why would I be able to suddenly do this with a hat on my, this hat on my head, when I could have easily done it earlier, but, I mean, I'm already supposedly granted the ability to look in mailboxes with this hat on, which seems kind of fucking stupid. Do I need this hat to even just put letters in there? Am I incapable of opening mailboxes otherwise? I touch the mailbox to open it, and it burns! Ah! <laughs> you are not wearing the hat. You are not the chosen one. Die, Lick! Ah! Oh my god, I'm sorry! One thing I was uncertain about, and I still don't really get, why is it I have a reservation under my name at Stockpot Inn? I... I thought... I thought maybe she just made a mistake. And maybe it is. That she just... Like, she got so distracted by the letter from Cafe, uh, that she didn't realize she gave it to the wrong person, but she did say Mr. Link. Maybe we're supposed to, that's open to interpretation, I suppose. So, okay, I'm, I'm like, I come earlier here. Um, are you staying the night? Yes. You are staying the night. There are no vacancies. Why did... I recommend making a reservation next time you wish to stay here. I... Hmm. But why did it work the other time? I just hop ba hopped back in time here just to... I'm gonna hang out here, actually. Just we'll see if anything happens. Like... Does somebody come in and make a reservation? They have to, right? Where, where are they getting my name from? That or she's just simply distracted by the postman, but I, I, I'm kind of curious now. Okay, 
here. I'm some postman. If I talk to you now, welcome to Stockpot Inn. Do you have a reservation? Yes. Oh, that's good. Mr. Link. Mr. Link, is it? One moment, please. What? What? What changed? I don't understand. Get out for an afternoon arrival. The room is our knife chamber on the second floor. Here is your key. Why do you call it the knife chamber? That's a weird name for a room lady. Not sure why, but you apparently had a reservation. Please relax. I... All she did was... All she did was get the food for the old woman, go to the, her room, drop... Try to give it to her. She didn't. She didn't take it. So she took it back upstairs to the room upstairs, and then she came back. And then, and now, suddenly it's a reservation. I don't understand. At what point was the reservation put down? <laughs> I love the sound bite for this guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do it again. Yeah. 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 That was a good talk, lady boy. <laughs> I suppose I can come in here and get a fast way to get a hundred rupees. Actually, I wonder if I can just stay in my room at night uh, until the place closes and not actually have to... Uh... Oh! Well, hi there! I haven't seen you before! The city is so busy, it's hard to find ways. What? Find one's way, Goro! Man, you walk slow. <sighs> Terabasar, there are no vacancies today. We're booked out with reservations. I made a reservation! The name is Link- Oh my god! <gasps> Oh my god! I stole this guy's reservation! There was actually a reason behind it! Mr. Linkor? I don't have a reservation under that name. There's one close to that, but... What? Really, Goro? Well, it's nice weather, so I'll just sleep outside, Goro. Oh no! Terribly sorry. Oh no! I feel so bad now! It's funny, I actually remember seeing this guy in the that intro movie. I didn't... Oh... That's who you were. You were, you were like Goro this whole time. Well, that's this guy saying Goro at the end of everything he says, but none of the other Gorons do it. It's just my weird quirk, Goro. Like how the Moogles always say Koopa. I'm kind of curious. If I like false guys, are going to go somewhere? Hey. Hey. Where are you going? Well, he just vanished into... He is walking somewhere. Oh, my God. I've got... We're moving at regular time, by the way, and he's just walking this slow. I just slowly walk at would walk at slow time. So you just oh she's just gonna stand there, just sit there. Oh my god! Oh, I'm sorry, dude. It's our world to live in, Goro. Just gonna let just sleep out here, Goro. Your fun, Goro. <laughs> sorry, my bad. I feel like I should be able to to just go sit in my room. I'm gonna try that out. Cause I may have to wait till 11:30 to go talk to her again anyway. Oh, oh, hey, the fu Wow, the fireplace suddenly turned on. Wow, that's pretty nice. Turn on fireplace. <laughs> this is my kind of inn. <laughs> I don't sleep in this inn, though. I just, I stand on the beds. It's always good to have a good place to stand. Yeah, I didn't get kicked out. Cool. So you can hear whoever's next door. I'm actually kind of wondering now. If when, when uh, Anju goes in that room, can I, like, hear something, possibly? I feel like, why would they include that little detail, right? Like, this gotta be some other reason for this room. Aside from just being able to stand in it. Well, now she was already in there, and it wasn't it wasn't doing anything. Alright, I just remember, it's actually a chest over here. I saw four. Can I get it with a grappling hook? I pull myself up there? Yeah, technically that's wood. I feel like I should be able to reach that. Uh. Uh. Oh. Oh. Hey! Yeah, there we go. I think it's just giving me money there, right? Yep. From this angle, I can also probably get to the the chest that shows up on the the tower here uh, on the final day. Although, I, again, I think all it is is probably just money. Okay. Got the pendant. Shouldn't the mom be available now, though? Like, can I just give it to her now? Yeah, she's in here, so. All right, put the mask on. Even though it, this technically isn't the time slot that I'm supposed to get this mm -hmm. item, so. Oh, wait, what? I can't put this in a slot. I said, what? I got nothing. But I, I remember when I, uh, the, the last time I talked to her on the on the final day, I, I have to show her an item. But I can't equip this to any of my slots. So, what would I show her? I don't think I've gotten anything else. I do get that thing, 
the the thing that I'm supposed to give to the mom, right? That I gave to the postman to deliver. So maybe maybe I was right what what I thought initially that I just give that to her myself. I, I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, I have no idea. By the way, I asked some of you guys say I actually missed something in this room when I was first here. Uh. Oh. Yeah, there's a little back area. And we've got, uh, stuff. Oh, Cafe's Diary. The wedding ceremony is soon. It might be early, but I finished my wedding mask. I wonder if Anju has made hers. She tends to do things at the last minute, so probably not. There's a gathering of the fellows at the milk bar tonight. I plan to show off my wedding mask and talk about my sweetheart as best I can. Aw. Oh, and there's a picture of her right there on the desk. Oh, that's so cute. Ah, so friggin' adorable. Oh, those characters are so precious. Oh, wait, I, I, what am I talking about? I, I can't equip this. I was The only reason I couldn't equip, equip it was because I, I had my bunny hood on. But it still doesn't matter because I, I couldn't give her anything anyway. She was like, what, what you haven't learned anything? Okay, and then get out of here. So I, I feel like if it were the case that this was the thing I need to give her, it would have had the time slot then, right? So I, I just think this is not right. I think I think it must be the giving the letter my uh, that uh, I gave the postman instead of doing it myself. I at least I'm hoping. Otherwise, it's gonna be a big waste of time. But either way, I, I'm sure there might be another ending with the pen of memories if I don't give it to Anju or something. But I just I don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't want to see I see Anju run here and realize oh I, I she's not here right. That's just too sad. I'm hanging out here because I feel like there's gotta be a purpose to this thing in the wall here right. Oh, see here. Oh, see everything here is falling apart. You hear the voices next door. Oh my gosh, something is happening. I knew. I was like, there has to be a point to this, right? They wouldn't have told me that if there wasn't a purpose to it. Okay, okay, something's actually happening. Okay, Andrew, we're leaving in the evening for the ranch. Krabby will take us in. She's your best friend, right? I wonder if Cafe is really. A I wish they would tell, make it clear who's talking. God damn it. I wonder if Cafe really is a Kremi's place. If Cafe is there, your mother will give him a s give him a smack. Besides, think about Kremia. She needs strength from a partner and business support from Madame Aroma. If Cafe really has run off with Kremia, oh, she'll get both. Please don't be sad. How happy could you possibly be? If Cafe has run off with Kremia, oh, marrying a man who runs off when he's about to be married, it would just. Make your life unhappy, just like your mother's. But in the letter, it said he definitely would come back. Huh. Come back to what? Will this town be crushed beneath the moon the morning after, tomorrow? Forget about that letter. For now, just try to survive. Everything else will follow. Interesting. Mmm. Okay, now Kermie's reaction to the mask starting to make sense. So maybe she wasn't so much angry at the mother uh, of... Of Cafe, maybe she was angry at Cafe himself. Maybe for getting married, for his marriage to uh, to Anju. Is she jealous? Did she uh, did she also love Cafe? I, I mean, uh, why would she bring up Kremi up if there wasn't already a possibility or a thing about that? Right? It's not like just like here's some random other young girl in town. She's the only other young girl in this whole freaking world. Yes, mother. Thank you. Wait, I want to listen to more. Hmm. Nah, I guess that must be it. Interesting. That's cool. I, I like that they include these little bits of, I guess, almost like Easter eggs. These b additional information and and sub stories that you really have to sort of dig to find. But it's very, it's very, uh, very rewarding. You know, it, like feeling like, holy shit, I discovered that. Something I'm actually really curious about. I wonder if. Uh, is it possible to actually see Cafe? Find out that, uh, the Sun Mask is getting sold by that Sakan guy. I'm kind of feeling like that's probably a bit of a stretch. Because I feel like I had to, I had to talk to the other guy, right? To, for him to tell me that he had disappeared. Uh, so that I get the Keaton Mask, and then I can leave. Or, I mean, right? See, this place opens a 10, right? You don't have anything in here, do you? Oh, right. I'm, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Oh, another you guys told me, apparently, something just horribly fucked up is that you can actually uh, give him the Zora eggs. You can sell those to him. That's right. You can sell the unborn babies of the freaking Zora girl to this guy for rupees. You sick, twisted fuck. What's wrong with you? I don't know if this is going to 
work or not, but, but hey, it's worth a shot, right? If I can find more Easter eggs than this, why not? <gasps> oh, hey, he's coming! I think. God, he looks so stupidly happy, doesn't he? Oh my god, I think we actually might see this shit. Can't talk to him. Hey! Hey, stupid dot! Damn, I can't pull my sword out. A hundred. Don't be such a rupee pincher, you miser. Two hundred. Ah! And I just offer you even less. And you know, this is this this is the bomb shops. How about I tell them all, all about you? Oh, okay. Oh, he's selling him the bomb bag. But he's gonna show him the sun mask too, right? Wait, no, no. Oh no, he he wanted he was waiting for this guy to show up so he could follow him to his hideout, right? No, he doesn't have the sun mask yet. He, that's back at his place. Which why does he even keep it, honestly? Like why doesn't he sell that? All right, fine, I'll take it, but you're guilty too. I'm a fool. I saw our stolen goods, just a middleman who's trying to provide his customers with good products. Look, I know nothing. If it comes to me, I buy it. I'm a charitable organization that helps people in need. Oh my god! Wow, this guy's fucking scum. I understand. The total is. It's 50 now. So there you go. B what? You said 100. Oh? Huh? So you don't want me to take it off your hands? <laughs> Wait. It's a deal. It's a deal. Wow. This is curiosity shop guy's taking advantage of me. I just want my fair share. <laughs> there he goes. I'm kind of curious to see if I follow him, will I also seek a faith chasing after him? Like, how far can I chase after some of these people? Literally, I like how he looks. He's constantly looking to the left and right to see if anyone's watching him. Sneaky piece of shit. Oh, get out of my way, man. Booga, booga, booga. I'm tailing someone. Don't stop me. Ah, oh, damn it. He disappears. <laughs> All right, girl. I'm going to ride on you. I'm going to ride on you. Turn around the horse left foot and fly the boy thing! Don't try to stop me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, about I wouldn't I wouldn't even dream of it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Poor Pona. Might actually try to do that. Alright, well while I'm here. Finally got arrows now so I can get across this thing here. Hey, come on! There we go. All right, pull me up. I want to be able to get a fucking trapped fast travel statue here. It's got to be up here, right? Ah, I see Tingle. Yes, there it is. Ah, finally. Is that a mummy I just ran by? All right, we'll, we'll worry about that in a second. <gasps> what in the hell? Uh. Oh no, it's you guys again! What the fuck? Uh, lock on them tattles so I can get their. Oh Jesus Christ! No, I want to get their info tattle. Lock on to them. Jesus, I have to be so close. It's a gimp, though. We'll be able to move the glazies. Be careful, okay? Got it! My God, damn it! Oh, and just like the other ones, he walks towards his dead, lifeless friend. You gonna start eating him? Just like the other ones did. Oh, well, maybe not, actually. I guess you guys are just walking in a circle. Why are these guys walking around? I don't understand. Oh, God. Well, I killed them. Did I accomplish something? Keep away from our house. My father is not one of you. Uh, see me? Oh, you mean one of the assassin dudes? Tell me I got a sound over here. Is there another one of these things? Yep. What are you? A boy with a mask? Ow! Okay, uh. To revive the dried up river on Akana Hill, you must go to the Springwater Cave. Okay, thank you for the tip. Which is, I guess. This. Connor Castle front gate. Use what you will. The seal gate shall never open. I'll show you. Ah! I'm guessing this is the... 
Oh, ancient castle. Oh, okay. I can just walk in. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll save for later then. I, I just kind of want to have a little small look around before going to meet Cafe and doing his thing real quick. Actually, I think about it. I got the the letter from that guy. Uh, I don't get it from Cafe, the the guy from the shop. So I don't even know if there's really a reason for me to get the sun mask now. Now that I've got this, I, I I'm assuming this is what she wants. So let's see what happens. Oh yeah, here she is. Wait, I, I walk in without my cow mask. So there's my, uh, oh, okay, I, how did I get in here? I didn't have to put the mask on. As you can see, all our customers have taken refuge. Maybe in my own d mind doing, but I'm the sort of fellow who stay at his business through thick and thin. Now I continue standing here at the counter, hoping one of my favorite customers will appear. I wasn't wrong. See, you stopped in. Aww, dude, bro. Broseph. Just for that, I'm taking some of this fucking Chateau Romani. For no god dang reason. Here's to you, milk bar man! <laughs> oh, that's the shit right there. Uh, Alright, lady. Oh dear, you're not fleeing. You're gonna die, boy! Uh, sorry, I gotta put my mask on. Oh dear, you're the one searching for cafe. How is it if you found him? Is this what you want? Better fucking be. Oh dear, priority mail. This is for cafe, co correct? Correct? Wonderful, you really are an expert. Yes, yes, I'm sorry, my thanks. Yes, yes, it is your job after all. Yes! Uh, oh my god, you give me a shot to everybody! <laughs> ah, looks like I'm getting fucked up tonight! You got a bottle? Oh, it's it's my final bottle, isn't it? Drink it to replenish your magic power and give me infinite power also. So we're with your tongue to enjoy its flavor as full as. Okay, that was right. Alright, good. Good. Part of me was a little bit afraid, like, oh, that it was actually going to end up being the the the, uh, the memento, but I had to just give it to her on the final day for some dumb reason. Deliver your son's sentiment to his mother. This was added to your notebook. I'm sorry, at this point, Tom, I can give you something like this. Because I wanted to give this to you sooner. Really? We're both going to die in this place, just so you know. You've done good work, and now you flee too. Why isn't she fleeing? Is she waiting for cafe? I, I wonder. She, she didn't tell you when you talked to her. Oh my god, look at this. Six freaking bottles. That's a lot of bottles. I already tell you, I think I only got four, right? That is a lot of bottles. Well, hell. All right, this time, here's to me. That's right, Kokichi Lake. The greatest of all lakes. Oh my god. I feel fantastic, Tattle. Uh, they're looking pretty crunk to me there, Lake. No, I'm not crunk. You're, you're crunk. Hey, you're, you're pretty. I wouldn't ever tell you that. Ew, no. Ew, no. No. Go back in time, Lake. Back to when you were drunk. I stick to him in the past. It doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense, like. Now it makes any sense. How? Why is the sword not go back and stuff? Why? Because the gameplay reasons, okay? Alright, don't, don't tell me about how to do my job. I'm a player for a song. Here I go. It's called Kokichi Link is Best Link. Here I go. La la la. La 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 la. Thank you all very much. Good night. <laughs> and with that, I believe I have fully filled out this notebook. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, the stamps. Oh, it feels so good. Feels so good. So what if Cafe <laughs> failed to get that mask back? <laughs> Whatever. Who gives a shit? This timeline's about to be erased anyway. All right. Back I go again. I was I actually like that I it wasn't just the bottle that I, I got this time. I ended up getting a whole bunch of additional flavor text to this sort of help me understand the situation even better. So I, I they really put so many details in this. Like the fact that you actually can see the, the thief come and sell the bag. Oh damn, I should have probably checked to see what that chest was in that chest up there. I know it's probably just money, but y you know, y just just in case. You never know. Alright, now I can finally teleport to freaking Akana. <laughs> Now I want to knock on the door. Yes, go away. Keep away from my house. My father is not one of you. I also got other little areas over here. Oh, okay. Well, there's fairy fountain. That's a easy one to get to. Oh, you know what? It just I, there's something I've been meaning to do for a while now. I keep forgetting about it, but I'll do it now that I remembered. So I need. To go, I'm gonna go teach the scarecrow the song, and then I want to go to. There, there was one place that. I remember off the top of my head that I really needed the 
uh, the Scarecrow to get to. It was over near these waterfalls over where the Zora area is. There's a hole up here I didn't even, I didn't even see before. At least I don't think I did. Is it anything or? Oh, hey, the book guys are here. These are a bunch of plants that don't drop anything. There we go. It finally worked. I tried on you guys before, but it it didn't work. Maybe it's because I was in a place where I could call upon her, but I'm now down here in a place where she won't show up. So now he reacts. Ooh, nice music. Reminds me of the pasture. The song just makes me want to go let go and put out a lot of milk. Cause some of you milk can make you very healthy. All right, thank you. I'll use that to taunt pe opponents in Smash Brothers. Okay, should be able to finally summon this thing. Yes, there we go. Play the Scarecrow song. Oh, you bitch! Ah, oh, there we go, finally. Stop wiggling! Harpies! Woo! I'm so excited! I was so, yeah, we meet again, baby, what a great pleasure to You know what, while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and just do that land deed thing, where I give one land deed to the next, Dagger Scrub, and then the next one, the next one, and there's this one in a kind of alley. It's clearly a heart piece over there. And there's also a Sheikah Stone, so I kind of want to go just do that one real quick. Fortunately, I think this will be the last time I have to do this. Okay, so I got this one over in the Zora area here. And I guess I'll point out, the reason why, like, the last one, he only uh, took the deed when I was a Deku Scrub is because I came from... He wanted the deed to the swamp, so we would only respond to someone who was originator of that area, right? So, a Deku Scrubs live in the, the swamp, so he would talk to a Deku Scrub about that. That, meaning that this guy probably is going to want the one in Snowhead will likely respond to a Goron, right? Take a stop by, oh, you're from the mountains. Selling green potions, my folks on marketing efforts. Actually, like to do business somewhere else where it's cool and the air is clean. You need to go through the proper channels first. Yeah, here we go. Here you go. That's a mountain thank you. This land exchange. Perfect. Yahoo, I'm off to the resort. Bounds are calling me. Everybody's happy. Really did like, did Luke, was Luke okay with you like living in her room like this? Whatever, it's not like she ever comes in here anyway. Oh, I guess they're all on the roof. Bye. All right. Ta-da. Okay, another, another heart container. Oh, hey! I can actually see the, the thief out here. Hey, that's a nice sword you have. <laughs> you know, lately, frightening ghosts have been appearing in swarms in Akana Village across the river. It seems they're the ghosts of Akana's royal family or something. There's no one living there anymore, so I moved nearby. <laughs> now there's only a curious parent and child living there, but they researched the ghosts. Did I mention there's one nice sword? Creep? No! Oh, fine! Fine, me that way! You gonna fall for that shit, bitch? You wanna die? Just cut his fucking head off. I'm not letting anyone steal my fucking sword ever yet. Look at that dumb bird. Does the bird work for Sakan or something? Or that other 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 dude? The curiosity shop guy? I'm like, why does he know to drop it off there? Okay, before I send you away, I'm actually gonna grab... I'm gonna grab one of these blue potions, because that sounds... Just so I'm not, uh, up shit's Creek like I kind of was in the last dungeon. Story ball, so you can take it with you. All right. Throw it away. Throw it away if you're cursed. Oh. That too, I guess. Or just wait a period of time, and I think it goes away eventually. Now talk to you, Zora. Thanks for stopping by. You're one of the ocean, are you? I'm here to sell blue potion. So I want to do business in the sea breeze while listening to the sound of waves. But don't miss another place. You need to go through the proper channels first. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I'm beginning to feel like I'm just talking to the same person again and again. Oh, there's an ocean tally. Let me have it. Ah, please have. If I have that, my dreams will come true. I'm asking for free. I'll give you this. What the? A huge. Ro oh, great. Thank you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that's right. He, normally, normally he just gives me a tally to his own thing, right? And then I pass it on to the next person. So, okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. Oh yeah, no brown brown beauties are waiting. <laughs> Wait, what? I think you mean blue beauties. I don't think anyone's not brown there. Those Zora look like they really need a tan. They need to hit a tanning salon at some point. All right. Okay, fly.
Okay. And we got ourselves a Sheikah Stone over here. All right, what you got? The Fierce Deity Mask, a mask that contains the merits of all masks, seems to be somewhere in this world. The Fierce Deity Mask. Ah, okay. Is this my reward for getting a, like getting all the masks then or something? Because you guys did say there is a reward. Reward. So I don't know if that's what, is that what this one in the bottom right corner is? Fierce Deity Mask, that sounds kind of cool. I'm kind of curious, is there anything over here if I swim for this side? Oh, holy shit, it takes me all the way back to the Southern Swamp. Wow, okay, that's a hell of a fast travel. Let's look around the rest of this uh, Volcano Village. Spirit House, prepare watering spirits and are awaiting your arrival. Ah, uh, meaning, oh, hello, it's you again. <laughs> a corner kingdom was founded on this land, state with a history of darkness, drenched in blood. Even now, it is a place where troubled, forgetful spirits gather. You are seeking the one who is stronger than you are. You may find strength here. The one who is stronger than I am? From a group of spirits plagued by lingering regrets. If you have faith in your skills and might, then try saving these wandering spirits. Hee <laughs> hee! But the, uh, the price you must pay is 30 rupees. Ah, uh, okay. You're a boy and much bigger. Defeat the ladies within the time limit and rest their souls in peace. If your life energy drops below three hearts, I will stop the match. Mercy is the least I can offer. Okay. Let's give this a try. Die, bitch. Oh, yeah, it's these guys from uh, Ocarina of Time. They're back once more. Okay, that one's dead. There we are. Okay, last one, I think. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh god, this shit again. I'm getting a feeling of deja vu, anyone else? Uh, wait, how do I know which one it is? There was a trick to it before. Elsa and sisters, we should have look for the real one. Is this it? Oh my god, good guess! I remember, like, it was bit by the way they, like, fade in or something. Was it? Oh, it's the one that spins. Boom, bitch! I win! Seems their souls have been healed. <laughs> by murder! Give to you the earthly possession which the ladies kept. Take it, Link. Ooh, a heart piece! Thank you! Is your name correct? I can read people's hearts. I like Ahaba. I knew you would be coming here. I hold the power of Kingdom Hearts within me. Now my soul has been healed too. With that, yee! Woo! You gave me secondhand heal. Thank you. Uh, uh, okay, I guess. You're welcome. God, the laws of this world are so fucking bonkers. I tell you what. Oh, we got another one of these things. Yeah, yeah, I know. You really hate me. Because I just look so cool in this mask. Boom. But you die in a single hit. Okay. To revive the dried up river in a cut. Wait. I already killed you. Weird. You're in a different place than you were before. Before you were down here. I got a reaction. It's Roar Cave. Entry prohibited due to ghost sightings. Ghost! I wonder if they all are gonna tell me tell me the same thing then? Or maybe it doesn't matter which one you do, it just matters how many you kill in a single area. So the second one I kill will tell me something different. If one tries to enter to enter the spring cave without knowing the song buried in a grave, that poor visitor shall meet with disaster. Oh shit. Okay. Huh. I'm not getting an alert this time. I guess he did just move places. Oh, here we go. I like I straight just straight murder these guys. They tell me they're fucking dead, right? Top the hill here in Akana, no human presence is felt, except that of a parent and child living in the house with the water wheel. Right, okay. All right, let's go inside this Ikana Manor, or castle. This looks conspicuous. Is that, I can't seem to grab it. Oh, just hit this thing. Ah, what did I do? 
stone tower. Holy crapola. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be here yet, though. Ooh. There's bones and dead things in here. Uh, what business have you in Akana Kingdom? Land where only the dead roam. Oh. It's the Poe. It's no place for one as full of life as you. Or do you say that you wish to join the dead? That is fine. If that is the case, then sleep gently to the melody of darkness that the great composer Sharp shall play. Enjoy the ranks of the dead. Oh, okay. Now, bitch, shut it. Ah. Oh, oh, I gotta play the song that, uh. Yeah, Sharp want, uh, taught me, right? The Song of Storms. Stop! I know your brother! I think that's him, right? What is this? This song? No, it can't be. This song! This song! Whoa! Ooh, there we go. Looking a little cleaner in here. Oh, hey. The river runneth full again. Oh, maybe now they'll let me in or something or the zombies will go away. <laughs> These zombies. Stupid mummies. What in the hell is happening? Like singing along with it. Well, uh, okay. Uh, my favorite song. I'm gonna go jam out in my coffin in hell. Well, that was unusual. Oh, the door's unlocked. Flat, my dear brother. Forgive your foolish brother who dreamt of the revival of the royal family. Ye who do not fear the dead. With my brother's song, you have broken the curse that was placed upon me. It is all thanks to you. We dead should not be lingering here in this land. It was all a trick of the masked one who had upset things. Of course. God, seriously, like, he's kept busy in, like, like the ten minutes I took my eyes off of him after turning to a Deku scrub. Truly do not fear the dead. I wish for you to go to the temple in this land and sever the root of the evil curse that torments us. To do that, I, the only one who knows the way to the temple, should direct you to the king. The king is in the ruins of Akana Castle, awaiting the coming of the one who will break the curse. I have made my final request. Okie dokie, fine! I will do your dumb request. I see a hole in the ground. Can I... Can I zor him before my way down there? Oh. <laughs> Never mind. It's just a shallow hole. Oh! Hi there! Bye there! Can I come in now? No! Hey! Come back out. 
Oh, no, she didn't come back out again. Ah! Uh, what, what do I do then? Oh, we got spawn up. Another spawn up here. Empty well. Ain't you prohibited due to ghost sightings? You guys gonna stop me? Oh, we got another sugar stone. Pamela, who lives in the music box house, comes out every two minutes when the music box is playing. But it seems she will also come out if she hears a bomb explode. Oh, I see. The girl over here. So to get her to come back out again, I gotta blow something up. Just real quick, let me check, uh, see what's down here. Wee! Ow! Ah, oh, beneath the well again. Great. Oh, hello there. Hello there, friend. Oh, what do you know? You wanna kill me? What the fucking else is new? Oh, you wanna die that badly? Ah, ah, ah. Oh, wow, I actually managed to avoid it somehow. Oh, not that time. Uh, didn't open these doors at all. Do I gotta put the flames out this time? Oh, what the hell? He came back! Oh, they gotta be dead at the same time, right? I, I guess. Can I put the flames out with the ice arrows? Uh, that's not doing anything, is it? I have no idea. So she come out, she hears a bomb explode. Gotta like lure her out here or something. Oh, and then she sees me and runs back in. Damn it! Okay, uh. Do I need to put on, like, my invisible mask or something? Will this actually work? I'm invisible! Maybe. Oh, it does work! Yes! Ha! I'm a little sneaky snake! I'm in! Music box house. What on earth? Who are you? I don't know how you can stand living in here with this loud as fuck music. Ah. Uh. What are going on in here? Oh, hello! <laughs> ah! Ah! Daddy, we learn! Stop it! Who are you? What are you doing? Just walking to people's house like this? I am the angel of death. Get out of my way, little girl! Dude, he is not happy to see me. He wants to murder me. Dude, it's me! It's Pamela! Oh no, y'all be confused! Get out! Forget everything you've seen here! Get out! No! No! Masky, please forget what you saw here and leave us alone! Well, I didn't accomplish anything, glue girl! Okay, well, let's try this again. She gonna fall for the same trick twice? Yes, she is! Okay, we're gonna try that again then, little girl. <laughs> oh! Can I talk to him or no? You can't even tell you to leave us alone! I didn't even tag him this time! Do I gotta play a song of healing or something before she shows up? So that's like her dad and get turned into a zombie? Or something? I think maybe the song of healing can help. It's like a notebook over here. I can't look at it though. <laughs> Why do I keep acting surprised? Oh, yep. To help? Maybe? My turn, you into a mask? Oh, you're wearing a mask! Father? Ah, uh, Pamela. What have I been doing this whole time? You, you haven't been doing anything. Oh, that's so sweet. Yay. You had a bad dream. You were just having a little nightmare. <laughs> Look at the mask there around mine. <laughs> Pamela. Ooh, 
I, I'm not sure I want to put this on. You got the Gibdo mask. This mask was once the hideous face of Pamela's father. This mask looks so real that even a Gibdo would mistake you as one of its own. Oh, I see. You guys okay? Aw. See, I'm a good guy. I helped out. I thought for sure I, could, I saw this book here. I'm not sure I'd be able to read it. Am I going to learn the circumstances behind what this is all about here? No? Huh? Ooh, I only have one more mask left until I get the, the I guess, the ultimate prize. Even a real Gibdo will seek you for one of its own. <laughs> Dump Gibdo. Hey, look, Pamela, look. I'm your dad, <laughs> ah! I'm just kidding. It was just me, Kokichi, the whole time. Oh, my God. Ah, you are some kind of fucked up, you know that? It's all right. I did one good deed, all right? I should make up for any horrible shit I do afterwards. This now works like... Okay, so now I can go down the well, right? Okay, so, like, I can just talk to these guys now? Yo, what up, my fr brother? Leave it. Leave it. Leave me something delicious to chop on. Something that sprouts with more than preferably five of them. Uh. Oh. If you don't have it, I have no need for you. Away! Ah. Uh, oh. You wanted some seeds? I think I bought a bunch of them. Give the leaf to get across that waterfall. Oh, it's a good thing I bought a lot then. Alright. Leave! Ah. Uh, okay. Five of them, really, man? Ah, uh, this, this. I bear you no remorse. Wow. Okay. How about you? Leave it. Leave me something blue that bestows health. Wow, okay. You want a blue health potion? Wow. It's a good thing I picked this up, too. Although I was kind of planning to use it for the dungeon. But fine. I guess I will give it to you, Mr. Undead Man. Because you seem to really need it. Don't take the bottle, though. You just get the liquid. I bear you no remorse. Ah oh, man, he did drink it. How did he drink it with all the wrappings on his face? No, look, I'm a zombie. Don't mess with me. Ah! Oh, we got one of those frost guys in here. It's chilly in here. I think I'm going to be lighting some torches here. I got the Deku stick. Uh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now what? Leave it. Leave me something deliciously fresh. Uh. Something deliciously fresh. A fish? Oh god, not you again. Get out of here. There not be any fish in here, would there? Get out of my way, dude. I'm not dealing with you. Leave it. Something that makes a blinding flash. Preferably ten of them? Oh, Deku nuts. Really, man? Do I have any of them? I have one. Aw, oh, man. Oh, okay, this is... This kind of sucks, honestly. I don't think you just dropped Deku sticks, I think. All right, that way sucks. Let's go over this way. Oh, go. I'm glad to see we got more of you guys on this side, too. Oh, well, I got a torch that needs lighting, which I'm not really sure what that does. Okay, get your Deku form to fly over that. Uh, uh, leave me H2O. Oh, okay, well, I can do that. There's some water in the other area. Uh, leave me something deliciously fresh. Gotcha, guys like your fish, don't you? I feel like that's gotta that's got be what he's talking about, right? Oh, I caught a fish! Wait, there was a fish in here? I was just trying to get water. I didn't realize, I didn't realize there was a fish in here, too. Or do I get a fish every time I do this? No, I just. There was a fish in there I didn't see. Okay, cool. Alright, man, here. H2O! Drink up, man. There's some water. You can just could walk right down the hallway and get some. Stupid spikes and way. Ah, oh, this, this, I bear you no remorse. Good for you. All right, is it a fish then that you want? Yep, okay, good. What the hell do we have going on here? Might as well grab another fish for that guy. Oh, hello there, okay. Uh. Woo! Oh, God. Now! Now! Seriously. Can I not fucking... 
attack him? My arrows can't hit it. All right, fuck you, I'm just gonna blow you up then. How about that? There we go. Wow, killing that thing was surprisingly annoying. Is this like hot spring water or something? Oh, it is. I have a feeling one of them is gonna want this, right? Oh, spider webs. Leave it, leave me something small and creepy. Small and creepy, uh. Oh, you want something small and creepy too? How about the thing that's floating above my head right now? Oh, a bug. You want a bug? Did I come across any bugs? Oh, there are some bugs in here. The only reason we had to like these is just to help you see a little better. Okay. I have so many freaking bottles. <laughs> this is a weird dungeon. Here you go, man. That's a weird, re weird request that they do. This looks like it goes to the main room, so. Uh, we've got a great fairy fountain. Oh, you're gonna, someone's gonna want a fairy, aren't they? Uh-oh, we got fire bats. Ah! Or what are they actually called? No, keys. Boom! I still have to worry about my Deku shield get catching fire. Uh, what we got going on in here? Oh, oh, there's an invisible chest here. I was like, <laughs> walking into something. Oh, a purple rupee. It's so much better than a 20 rupees. You take that back! All right, here is your deliciously fresh today. What does this guy want again? Oh yeah, Deku nuts. Oh, here we go. Here's a place to farm Deku nuts. How very convenient. At least they include most of the stuff in here. Although I'm not sure if there'd be a place to get like a blue potion. Okay, what would you like, good sir? Leave me a ghost, a big one at that. A big one. I, oh, come on, man. Give me something a little easier. She wants a Poe? Give me something small and creepy. Oh, another bug guy. All right. All right, well, here we go, man. Have some Deku nuts. This is a better. I like it. that. That's what you're remorseful about is that you didn't get your 10 Deku nuts? Freaking weirdo. <laughs> Ow. Okay, we got some more buggies in here. God, there's so many of these guys. This thing is warm, I can melt ice and, oh God, okay. There's someone who wants hot spring water. Leave me 10 refreshing blasts. 10 refreshing, refreshing blasts? I, I don't know what that is. A bomb? Oh, okay, yeah. That's refreshing to you? Okay, I don't judge, but uh, okay, what we got going on here? Oh, hey! A po! What do you know that I need? Probably, I get your ghost, right? Okay, there we are. Got a big bone in a bottle, all right. Okay, something small or creepy. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna be honest, if this is the entire dungeon here, which I don't, I don't think it's the real full dungeon. I think it's like a mini dungeon. Uh, this kind of sucks, <laughs> honestly. Let me fetch a bunch of random shit for these dumb zombies. Fortunately, most most of it seems to be in here at least. So I guess there's that, but still kind of wish they had gone about it this a little differently. At least I had to have me do so many of it. Oh, we got a secret guy in here. Of course we do. Hello there, friends, and goodbye. Okay, all these torches look different, so. Maybe these are ones I light and I get something? Ah, yep, there we are. Oh, good, more money. I guess maybe the point of the torches is to help you figure out like where you have and have been. There's where torches are later, places you've been to. Get out of my way. Give me something rich in calcium. Oh! Oh, thank God I got that milk. Holy crap. That was really fortunate. Jesus. I'm having a lot of lucky breaks here. Unless there's a cow somewhere here that I missed. Ah, I haven't gotten to the end of this thing yet. Okay, I see stuff happening. Let's go ahead and put some, let's light some more torches, guys. You never get enough of lighting these torches. Boom. Oh, 
Oh, we got a shiny chest. That's what I want to see. Okay. What we got? I honestly have no idea. Uh, oh! You got a mirror shield. Oh! oh. This looks a little different than it did last game. Eh, I don't remember having a big, scary, freaked out face on it. It's like, ah! The light, it burns my eyes! It reflects certain kinds of light. Press R to assume a defensive position. If you press R, see targeting. Okay. Wow, whoa, look how big this thing is. I think you're bigger than the last thing, last uh, shield I had. Holy shit, all right. Cool, oh, I see. Then I can use it to on this uh, thing here. I see, now I can get past that other area, I guess. That's cool, I like how it actually like, stays from reflecting on my back. Okay, there are actually some air other areas in here that I, I didn't quite get to, though. Oh, wait, can I get at? I open up this thing, but what is that? What does that do? I can't I can't reach up there. Oh the face. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Hello there. I think there was one or two areas I didn't get to. I bet I'm betting one of them maybe had a cow behind it. Which is where you could have gotten milk. Just hoping there aren't any heart pieces down there. I really wouldn't have, want to have to go back there again. Whoa, where the crap am I? Ancient castle of Lakana. Well, okay then. Uh, I see a heart piece yet. Oh, there sure is, right there. Okay, it feels like I might be heading down to the, the main attraction here, and I see a crystal up there too. We are. That probably doesn't stay down indefinitely. Another block there. Oh, oh, a thirst for blood! You know what that means? Okay. A hole can be opened in the ceiling of a particular room in Akana Castle, but it cannot be broken without an explosive with incredible might. Oh. Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna need a powder keg then, won't I? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't actually mean to trigger you. Uh in entering Akana Castle, there's another secret route apart from the well entrance. Belief or disbelief rests with you. Oh, okay, so maybe a, just like an easier way to get here, which is, oh, it's this right here. But I need light to be able to get in there. Actually, that might be the problem. I might be might need to be daytime in order to, uh, in order to uh, get this area. Or get or get the light needed for that sunblock there. The Redeads and Akana were once members of the castle's dancing troupe. Huh, okay. Well, will they want to see the, the dance of that uh, one weird ghost I found before or something? Actually, I have another use for that. Well, all right, guys. This seems like a good place to end things here for now. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not already a gun picky penguin. Or this will be where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Now, as I haven't said in a while, if you enjoy what I do and you and really want to help, help support me in my creation of these videos, please consider becoming a patron on my Patreon. Even just $1 per month really goes a long way to helping me bring you guys the best content possible. Anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy!